what Steve Spurrier had to say about Florida Gator football and Billy Napier in the interview. Here's a little, little, little tidbit here from an interview with the Florida Times Union. He says, Billy, speaking of Billy Napier, of course, quote, Billy is a good guy who works his tail off. I like Billy, good family man, but we do wish the organization was a little bit more tidy. Now, this is Steve Spurrier, and J.C. Simonton in the article does a great job. He says, in all caps, who still holds a paid ambassador title and office in the swamp. Okay, so the context here matters. The context of where this messaging is coming from, that matters. Like, it's someone who is not just a guy who coached there and played there. We'll talk more about that in a second. Being an alum, I think, does matter when we assess this whole discussion. This is a guy who's still tied to the program. This is a guy who's still in the building to a degree. And he's saying we. He's not saying I feel this way. He's saying we as a whole feel this way. Now, he also says other things, talking about the direction of Florida when it comes to their NIL efforts. He loosely refers to Trevor Etienne leaving from Florida to Georgia. And he's like, how could that ever happen? Who, who, What Florida fan ever thought that they would lose their top running back to Georgia? I think there's more to that than what meets the eye. But the other part of this we have to consider being an alum, being someone who's from Florida, if you're Steve Spurrier, he has a little bit of extra passion baked in there. A little bit of extra pride. And with extra passion, extra pride, it's like, who's the hardest on you probably? Outside of yourself, the people that love you, people that care about you, your parents probably have the most critical opinion of you in some respects. Because why? They expect more out of you. They expect you to live up to the standard. They expect you to do these great things. And also with Steve, Sarp- Steve uh, Spurrier having been a coach at Florida, you'd have to imagine it's next to impossible to see somebody do the job that you did at a high level and not have a strong opinion on what they're doing, whether it's critical or whether it's positive. So I think that's important to remember as we sort of take inventory of this whole situation and this whole interview from Steve Spurrier. There's one thing, though, that the verbiage was a little bit curious to me as we unpacked what Steve Spurrier had to say. The use of the word tidy. That's what's concerning to me. He didn't say subpar. He didn't say we're off base. He said we wish it was a little bit more tidy. And tidy to me, the first thought I have there is, okay, he's speaking to the details. And so my mind went, okay, well, what has Florida done, at least from an on-the-field perspective, that has maybe left more to be desired from a detail-oriented point of view? Penalties. Now, I think Steve Spurrier is probably speaking a little bit more to the internal operation, but here's the deal in college football, the internal and the the on-the-field product, they kind of go hand in hand. You can't have one out of order and the other look great. So when it comes to the the on-the-field part of this whole thing being tidy, Steve Spurrier saying, I wish it was more tidy. I wish they were a little bit more on their P's and Q's when it came to how they operated on the field. They were 118th in the country in terms of penalties a game in Gainesville last year. Now, if I'm Billy Napier, and I'm reading this article, and I'm hearing what's being said from Steve Spurrier, I'm like, hey, man, can we keep this in-house? Can we have a conversation? Can you come to my office and talk to me? Can we not go to the Florida Times Union and have this big discussion, have this out in the open? Because what you're doing here, if I'm Billy Napier, I'm talking to Steve Spurrier, you're hamstringing me. You're making my job harder. Because this isn't just some fan on a message board. This isn't just you know, Stevie Gator 42 saying, I wish this place was more tidy. You have a guy who coached, played, went here, won a Heisman here, has a statue here, very publicly voicing his uh, things he doesn't like about the Florida program. And that makes your job harder as a head coach. Like people are going to listen to one of the most visible figures voicing his discontentment with Billy Napier's job he's doing internally. So if I'm Billy Napier, I'm like, hey man, if we want this thing to actually move forward, Let's not have this out in the open. Let's not have this narrative run through a newspaper. Let's talk about it. You want something fixed? I respect you. Let's talk about it. Let's, let's, let's get this thing headed in the right direction. We want the same thing here. Clearly, you want to win. I want to win. You love this place. I love this place. Let's, let's link arms here and work together to get this done. That would be my first thought of a Billy Napier. Also, recruits see this. Like you think a recruit is reading that and saying, yeah, I want to go to Florida. I don't think that's doing too many favors for, for uh, Billy Napier from Steve Spurrier. So that would be frustrating for me if I'm the head coach at Florida right now. I do think we need to mention this, though. I can't speak to the in-house matters at Florida. Just quite frankly, never been inside the house. I'm not even taking a, a look through a window at the house. But the thing that's concerning to me here is Steve Spurrier is saying these things publicly. What's being said behind closed doors? What's being said 
That's not on the record. Because if Steve Spurrier feels strongly enough to say a version of this to a reporter, what's he saying to other powers that be in Gainesville? Heck, what is he saying to Billy Napier? What is he saying to the rest of that staff? And what is so pressing, what does he feel so strongly about that makes him feel like he has to say this to this sort of degree, to this watered-down version out into the public? Because that's my, that's my concern. What he's saying probably is watered down. As outspoken as Steve Spurrier is, I don't think you're getting the 100 level of what he is actually feeling and saying to other people off the record. Now, for Billy Napier, I want to make sure we say this again. None of this is fair. And that's not me saying that Billy Napier gets excused from what's happening at Florida. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying not all jobs are created equal. And Billy Napier got the job at Florida because the guy before him wasn't cutting it. Okay, it wasn't like the guy just left a pristine roster and pristine culture for him. Like they were losing football games. So Billy Napier came in and got that job. That's a reality. Also, the schedule is absolutely brutal. We've talked about it multiple times on this show. Let's just talk through November here. Georgia and Jacksonville at Texas, LSU, Ole Miss at Florida State. That's ridiculous. Is that fair? No, it's not fair. But again, college football, then again, college football isn't fair. What's happening isn't fair. So I'm not excusing anything for Billy Napier, but I just think it needs to be referenced a little bit here. Like this isn't just the most even playing field he's stepping on and trying to get Florida to where he expects them to be. It is what it is. Now, I would say this though. As much as this narrative has persisted and as much noise is going on externally in Gainesville, winning changes everything, all right? Winning changes everything. So if Billy Napier and company, let's say they go in Let's say they win eight games. Their over-under win total, I believe, is five and a half right now in Vegas. Let's say they win eight games. Against that narrative, with what they were expected to do, what people are saying about them, how much juice that would pour on the brand that Florida Gator football is, the direction they're heading, we expected this and y'all did this. There's a great book by Rylan Holiday called The Obstacle is the Way, essentially taking things that are negative or perceived obstacles to getting to where you want to go and using them to your advantage. If Billy Napier wins eight games next year, I think that would be the way, and I think that would uh, that would juice him up quite a bit for the next season. And again, I think he keeps his job if that's what happens. So I don't love that if I'm Billy Napier from Steve Spurrier saying those things, but I'm curious what went into warranting him feeling like he had to say those things. Hey, y'all. Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel here to make sure you don't miss an episode of The Hard Count. Also, be sure to check out other videos on the On3 YouTube channel.